What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K25 for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build the best shooting lockdown build in NBA 2K25. This build has obviously super good shooting and defense but it also has solid finishing, playmaking and physicals as well and rebounding so it's a very very good all around build. Let's get into it here. First off the position you want to be a shooting guard, height 6 foot 6, weight 233 pounds. This just gives you a few extra badges like a movable enforcer and stuff like that, strong handle whatever which will help you out with this build and then wingspan is good at six foot ten right there you don't need to bring it up or down if you bring it up limitless range will go down to bronze and if you bring it down you'll start to lose defensive stuff which you don't want so just leave it at a six foot ten wingspan right there go ahead and click continue now on to the finishing right here first off for the close shot you can bring this up to a 68 right here driving layup can go up to an 80 right here this will give physical finisher onto silver also give aerial wizard once we get down to the physicals so don't worry too much about how the badges look right now i didn't upgrade the driving dunk on this build because it's more of an outside build obviously and you have the layup if you do have to finish at the rim so the driving dunk is not upgraded on this you can just put it to a 30 standing dunk is good at a 25 and post control can go to a 51 right here now onto the shooting first off for your mid-range you can bring this up to an 82 i know this seems low but you should be able to make mid-ranges no problem and the three-pointer is going to be a lot higher so just leave that in 82 it will be enough three-pointer can go to an 89 which will give silver dead eye silver limitless and gold set shot and you'll also get shifty once we get down to the physicals but these are good enough shooting badges you'll have absolutely no problem shooting from three especially if you know your jump shot and stuff you'll have no problem shooting free throw can go to a 75 which should be good enough to make free throws consistently pass accuracy can go to a 71 which again not great but it will be more than enough you're not going to be throwing the ball at a bouncer way above your teammates heads or anything like that you'll be able to complete passes you also get diamond onto silver and break starter onto bronze so that's a good bonus as well ball handle can go to a 77 this isn't meant to be a primary ball handler build it's meant to be an off ball build but i did upgrade the ball handle a little bit so you get some badges here and strong handles will go up as well speed with ball can go to a 75 right here which will give silver lightning launch that's nice as well to have one of the better badges in the game even for a build like this now on to the interior defense you can put this up to a 66 right here should be good enough perimeter defense can go to a 92 so obviously this is a lockdown build you need a very very good defense and these badges are going to go up a lot so don't worry about them too much right now steel can go to a 94 and you can use your cap breakers on this to get it up even higher at 94 you have interceptor on hall of fame and glove onto gold you can get this up to a 98 you can't quite get it to a 99 because if you bring up your wingspan to get your steel up you'll lose limitless range so it's not worth it but you can upgrade it to an 88 which will give interceptor on to a uh, legend and you'll also get glove onto hall of fame at a 98 right there so just do that with your first set of cap breakers once you get them in my opinion you could also use it on something else like perimeter defense but i think it's definitely better to use on steel then your block can get maxed out at a 74 so it's a very good blocking build as well rebounding you can put your offensive rebound to a 27 defensive rebound to a 60 which will give box obese and rebound chaser you don't have box obese yet but you will get it speed can go up to an 80 so good enough speed for sure agility can go up to an 80 as well this is so that you get those defense badges on ball menace and pick dodger up to gold and it will also give shifty shooter and slippery off ball so those are good badges as well now onto the strength you can bring this way up to a 91 and this will give a good amount of badges as well as you can see physical finisher on silver strong handles on hall of fame removable enforcer on hall of fame brick wall on gold not sure how much you'll need that but you never know and uh, box obese on to bronze now on to the vertical you can put your remaining attributes into this should go to a 60 which will give you aerial wizard onto bronze as well as high flyer denier onto bronze so that's all very good and as you can see these defense badges are looking a lot better right now since we got the physicals done and this is a very very good all around two-way build so once you have everything set up like this you can go ahead and click continue and it's going to say shades of larry hughes Derek White and Alex Caruso so decent comparisons not great but decent comparisons and the build is going to be called a 3 and D 2 guard so a pretty cool name as well hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like subscribe to the channel if you're new I upload daily 2k25 content build guides all that so make sure you sub so you don't miss any of that but that's gonna be it all right peace